43. A flame of radiant happiness, she was born. O deathless sage, who knowest all things here, if I could read by the ray of my own wish, through the carved shield of symbol images, which thou hast thrown before thy heavenly mind, I might see the steps of a young godlike life, happily beginning, luminous-eyed on earth. Between the unknowable and the unseen, born on the borders of two wonder worlds, it flames out symbols of the infinite and lives in a great light of inner suns. For it has read and broken the hidden seals. It has drunk of the immortals wells of joy. It has looked across the jewel bars of heaven. It has entered the aspiring secrecy. It sees beyond terrestrial common things and communes with the powers that built the worlds. Till through the shining gates and mystic streets of the city of lapis lazuli and pearl, proud deeds step forth a rank and march of gods. Although in pauses of our human lives, earth keeps for man some short and perfect hours, when the inconscient tread of time can seem the eternal moment which the deathless live, yet rare that touch upon the mortal's world. Hardly a soul and body here are born in the fierce, difficult movement of the stars, whose life can keep the paradisal note. Its rhythm repeat the many-toned melody, tirelessly throbbing through the rapturous air, caught in the song that sways the Apsara's limbs, when she floats gleaming like a cloud of light, a wave of joy on heaven's moonstone floor. Behold this image cast by light and love, a stanza of the order of the gods, perfectly rhymed, a pillared ripple of gold. Her body, like a brimmed pitcher of delight, shaped in a splendor of gold-colored bronze, as if to seize earth's truth of hidden bliss. Dream-made, illumined mirrors are her eyes, draped subtly in a slumberous fringe of jet, retaining heaven's reflections in their depths. Even as her body, such is she within. Heaven's lustrous mornings gloriously recur, like drops of fire upon a silver page in her young spirit, yet untouched with tears. All beautiful things eternal seem and new to virgin wonder in her crystal soul. The unchanging blue reveals its spacious thought. Marvelous the moon floats on through wandering skies. Earth's flowers spring up and laugh 
at time and death. The charmed mutations of the enchanter life race like bright children past the smiling hours. If but this joy of life could last, nor pain throw its bronze note into her rhythmed days. Behold her, singer, with the prescient gaze, and let thy blessing chant that this fair child shall pour the nectar of a sorrowless life shall pour the nectar of a sorrowless life around her from her lucid heart of love. Heal with her bliss the tired breast of earth and cast like a happy snare felicity. As grows the great and golden bounteous tree flowering by Alakananda's murmuring waves where with enamored speed the waters run lisping and babbling to the splendor of the morn and cling with lyric laughter round the knees of heaven's daughters dripping magic rain pearl bright from moon gold limbs and cloudy hair, so are her dawns like jeweled leaves of light. So casts she her felicity on men, <clears throat> a flame of radiant happiness she was born, and surely will that flame set earth alight. Doom surely will see her pass and say no word. But too often here, the care careless mother leaves her chosen in the envious hands of fate. The harp of God falls mute. Its call to bliss, discouraged, fails mid earth's unhappy sounds. The strings of the siren ecstasy cry not here, or sooner silenced in the human heart. Of sorrow's songs we have enough. Bid once her glad and griefless days ring heaven here. Or must fire always test the great of soul? along the causeway of the gods, armored with love and faith and sacred joy. A traveler to the Eternal's house once let unwounded pass a mortal life. 